Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. I did it again, stayed up all night Saturday, more Dark Souls, having way too much fun on my vacation, and it is time now for Saturday's Saturday's Bible lesson coming Sunday morning. <laughs> Haven't forgotten the 30 minute one, and uh, still plan on getting that out later on this afternoon. This is going to be First Kings chapter one again. Lots of good stuff in this chapter, and I've been I'm finding myself meditating on this chapter a little bit. This is going to start in verse five. So First Kings chapter one verse five. Then Adonijah the son of Haggith exalted himself, saying, "I will be king," and he prepared for himself chariots and horsemen and fifty men to run before him. And his father had not rebuked him at any time by saying, Why have you done so? He was also very good looking. His mother had borne him after Absalom. And the dangers of a lack of discipline become readily apparent here. Now it's not spoken of a bit in regards to Absalom, Amnon, and to the best of my knowledge, I'll try to remember to update you guys if I see anything different, or about Solomon, David's discipline of his children, except for Adonijah, really isn't mentioned anywhere. But it's mentioned here in 1 Kings chapter 1. Apparently Adonijah didn't grow up with a whole lot of discipline, ended up becoming very rebellious and going against what his father wanted for the kingdom. And obviously that, uh, that did not end well, that did not go well. Solomon did become king. And I just wonder... If this particular point in his life crossed Solomon's mind when he wrote in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 17, He who keeps instruction is in the way of life, but he who refuses correction goes astray. Even though I don't have any kids at the moment, I can tell you what, um, I was rebellious enough with all the whoopings I got. I don't even want to think about what would have happened to me if I had grown up without a, without a good whooping here and there. I grew up with lots and lots of them. I am still a believer in physical discipline for children. It's had positive impacts on all the people that I know personally. It's having positive impacts on my friends who do have children. I definitely profited and benefited from it. There's just a lot to be gained there. So, I get I, it's interesting how this kind of turned into a make sure you discipline your kid kind of talk, but I was more or less thinking, you know, the lack of discipline leads to rebellion later on in life. Well, it also leads to, the, to a lack of discipline and an increase in rebellion in younger life as well. Uh, the kids that I know that aren't disciplined are hellions. So. Make sure that you're doing your kids a favor when you discipline them. You're letting them know that, hey, there's accountability and there is, there is recourse to whatever action it is you've done. The consequences can be good. The consequences can be bad. And in Adonijah's case, it, it led into an absolute worst case scenario where he rebelled against his father and his brother, which, as it turns out, will be to the cost of his own life within the next chapter or two. So discipline your kids, and I'm going to make sure I remember that when and if one day in the future I have any. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.